Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this video. I'd like to share a new network I made. Uh, this is a network using the cache top. Uh, and as you can see, it delays a video or any inputs with a certain amount of frames and puts it in this grid. Uh, you can get really cool stuff um, by just playing with the brightness. Uh, I'm just jamming on a fader right now. Um, and maybe change the input to, to anything. This is just a rotating rectangle. And yeah, it's pretty fun to play with. And it's relatively easy once you understand how the um, how the cache top works. So let's dive into the network and I'll explain everything. So this is the component that's powering it all. Uh, it's got a couple of custom parameters. Um, first, you can set your resolution. This will be uh, the resolution for the final uh, image, so not for the input. Um, that can be whatever you want. Um, then you can specify how many rows or columns you want. So if you just want this, it looks a bit strange, but you can do it. Um, then just a quick side note, I haven't fixed this yet. If you go up on columns or rows, um, this won't work at first, but you need to go into the network and out of it again. Uh, so press I and then U on your keyboard, and then it resets it for some reason. I couldn't figure out why. Uh, so that's the only thing. I tried resetting everything in there, but it didn't work, so you just have to go in and out uh, once you... Uh, increase the number of rows and columns. Um, then you can specify how many frames between each step there uh, should be. So this is the original image. Uh, it's, yeah, just, um, I took a webcam input here and this is just the first uh, thing you see. Then everything gets delayed by this much frames so if we increase this um, now the delay is a lot uh, higher uh, and if we take this down to one it will be super fast which can be really cool uh, it makes for some cool chases i'm going to make a separate tutorial on this network um, if you're anxious and can't wait uh, or if you're too lazy to follow the tutorial this component is up on my Patreon uh, and you can download it there. Um, I will, uh, however, in this video go into the cache top. Uh, we're going to see just the basics of it, um, uh, but I won't make this entire network because, yeah, well, it's quite some work and that will be a separate tutorial. Uh, now, if we feed something into the cache, so let's just take this. Uh, we can specify how much uh, frames it saves. So currently it's saving 32 frames. That means 32 frames back in time from the point where we are right now. Uh, and then if we insert a cache select and drop this onto the cache select, we can say how much frames it goes back in time. So this could be currently could maximum uh, of 32 so it's delayed by 32 frames and what we're doing uh, for this network is basically just making the first one have one minus one minus two minus three and now you can see oh well um, I'm doing wrong uh, yeah it goes really fast you can't even see so Maybe if we put the minus four next to the minus one, you can see. I can't even see it. Does it work? Yeah, well, uh, just a couple of frames is hard to see, but it works. Um, and then in this network, we're using a replicator. And this is some really sexy stuff. It's in the components here, replicator. And you can set a like a master operator, like something it has to look to. Uh, that's this, I call it blob zero. I don't know why, uh, but it uh, replicates it 
uh, for a specified number of times. Here it has to replicate it 99 times because we have a grid of 10 by 10 uh, and the original one is also in the grid. Then we have a container that um, aligns them by grid rows. Uh, if we set this to grid columns, I think it, yeah, it's going down. So that would be also an option to change. It's also cool. I have it set to grid rows. Uh, and yeah, this is basically our network. So if we uh, were to go out and set this to four by four, we will have 15 here plus one is 16. So four times four, and it will just insert this and connect them automatically. Uh, yeah, um, that's basically it. Please leave a comment down below if you want me to make a full tutorial on this. Uh, that really helps to motivate me and I will probably make it faster. For now, you can check this out on my Patreon. It massively helps me if you go over there and subscribe and get this component and many others. So cheers and bye bye.